Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Every time I sit down to record a video, he hears me talking. Come here. And he thinks I'm talking to him. Anyway, like I was saying, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a story time. I actually like, when this first happened, it was this year, it wasn't that long, or, okay, it was 2019, uh, the end of the summer, I'm pretty sure, or no, like, this happened at the beginning of the fall, I think it was like, second week of October, maybe, when it first happened, I was like, oh, why does that kind of shit always happen to me, and I know there's probably a ton of other stories out there like this, or way worse, but... This is my experience. So when this first happened, I actually have Snapchat videos of it because I was freaking out and I was drunk. So I sent it to a couple of my coworkers right away because they're the people I had been with that night. I just, let me just get started. If you've ever been to Kona Grill Happy Hour, you know that their frozen margaritas are bomb as fuck. Like, they're super good and they're cheap. They're like five dollars, right? Are they five dollars? Yeah, they are. So they're like five bucks and it's a little glass, but it's so strong. And they actually stopped having them for a while. I don't know if it's because they were super strong, but they brought them back. So I always get the frozen margaritas and it was gonna be like one of my last weeks in town before I left El Paso. So my coworkers and I decided that we were gonna go uh, have a drink again, like eat during happy hour. So Kona Girl has a really good happy hour and it's actually, it's like a reverse happy hour and then a regular happy hour. So we were there from, uh, we got there at four and we started, it was, it was. Rita, Sully, Jessica. Lily, Andrew, Mel, and then for like the second half of it, my brother. We were there and Kona Grill is at the fountains. If you've never been there, they sell delicious food. It's like, they sell seafood, sushi, things like that, but they also have like burgers and sandwiches. And again, their happy hour is bomb. So we decided to go there. So we were there, we got there at four. We were supposed to get there at four and that's the time we got there. And happy hour ended at 7. So we were there from 4 to 7. Just like drinking and eating. And I think between 4 and 7, I probably had like 4 margaritas. And I'm a lightweight, okay? So I'm a huge lightweight. And with one or two of those margaritas, I'm already buzzed. So with... For margaritas, I was already pretty tipsy. I wasn't like drunk, but I was pretty tipsy. From four to seven, I had four margaritas. And then we left and we decided that we were gonna come back for the second happy hour. So we walked around the mall and I actually took Snapchats of that too. We were just having a great time. Like my coworkers, oh, I shouldn't say my, my ex coworkers and I get along really, really well. And we always have a great time together. And they're just awesome people to get drunk with. So we went around different stores at the fountains, just like messing around. And then at eight or at nine for the second happy hour. So. I think we came back at 8. I think it was just an hour. So from 8 to like 11 or something, we were there. And we kept drinking. And I mean, at this point, like, it was like a Wednesday or something. So no one was trying to get drunk. It was just happening. We, we weren't planning on like, oh, it's going to be lit today. But we were having a, a couple of drinks and it just like escalated. You know how it is. So anyway, at this point, everyone's pretty buzzed. 
And I can't say, like, I've only ever blacked out like twice or like three times in my whole life. And this was nowhere near that. But I was like, my inhibitions were definitely lowered at this point. So like I said, my brother had joined us for the second happy hour and we went home. And I think we went home around 10, 30, 11. Everyone had to work the next day, so we went home and I cannot go to sleep without showering. Like, I just can't do it. So when I got home, I uh, knew I had to get in the shower right away. Like, I didn't even say bye to Lily because she was with us. When we got there, I like just like went into the bathroom and every time I shower, I take off my earrings, I take off my bracelets, and I'll do this thing where like, if this is the counter, I put my bracelet here like this, and then any necklace I have inside, and then my earrings too, like, like I would take these off, these little earrings, and then put them in the center, and then I'll like take off my rings and put them in the middle of the bracelet like that too, just to ensure that they're not gonna like roll off or whatever. Today I'm wearing three rings, but usually I always, always, always have two rings on. I have my engagement ring. Before this, I always had like my promise ring and I have this ring that my dad gave me. I never take them off ever and I'm really careful with them. So I usually put these like in the center of my bracelets and uh, get in the shower, get out. As soon as I'm done putting lotion on, I put my rings back on. Not my earrings, I don't like to sleep with earrings. They like dig into the back of my um, neck, I guess. I guess because I was just like not all there, this is where things started going south. I get in the shower, I get out, and I like look at to where my jewelry should be, and all I see is my necklace. And I was like, that's weird so you know when you're like kind of buzzed or drunk your reasoning doesn't go the same way as if when you're sober like it just doesn't happen that way so right away I was like oh my god my engagement ring has gone down the drain that was my reasoning and I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that maybe like a couple of months before, uh, the other ring I had, my promise ring, had gone to the other side of the bathroom counter. So it was like wedged in between the wall and the counter. And I couldn't get it out because it's like, it was very, very tight. I couldn't like fit my hand in. And I had other promise rings, so I would just wear those and I never bothered to get that one back. So again, I'm already buzzed. I don't have like the mentality to be like, hey, check everywhere else first. So I'm like, okay, my engagement ring has gone down the sink. I have to get it out. So I like start looking around my bathroom and I thought about waking up my brother, but I felt bad. He goes to work pretty early. And this was my battle, you know? This was my fault. Like I wanted to deal with it on my own. So I literally get down on my knees. I start taking apart the pipe that is under my sink and I don't know what my plan was actually. <laughs> I start looking in it and then when I couldn't see it, I like start shaking it like trying to get anything out of it in my bathtub and it's not in there and I was like, wait, why isn't it in here? Like, did I somehow take it off when I was like, with my coworkers, and I'm like, no, there's no way, like, you wouldn't do that. And I'm like, okay, did anyone ask to see it? Like, where else have you gone in between there and now? And I'm like, no, 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 like, it has to be in the sink. So, then I like, I guess at this point, I had already showered, I had gotten a really big scare, I started to like sober up, and I'm like, you haven't left the bathroom to check your room at all. I know, not my proudest moment. So I go check my room. Another big hint was like, where are my bracelets? Cause only my necklace is there. I was like, where's the rest of my jewelry? So I was like, dude, 
check your room. So I go back into my room and I guess I had just forgotten that I went in there before I went into the bathroom to take a shower. And sure enough, on my bed are my earrings, my bracelets, and my engagement ring. So then I had to go back in the bathroom and this is when I recorded those Snapchats. Guys, I thought my engagement ring went down the drain. Okay, like I literally took my sink apart. Like I took a pipe off because I thought this shit went down the drain. Like, so, okay, I always take it off before I shower. And then right now when I got out, it was like not there. And I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, oh my God, it fell in the drain. I, I don't know why I didn't check my room first. Basically, I thought I took it off in the bathroom. And I guess I took it off before. I don't know what happened, but it's here. I was literally so scared. And put my sink back together. Like, I literally took a pipe off. Like, I have to put this shit back right now. At this point, it was like one in the morning. And I thought it was like, after it was scary, you know, you have like those moments where you're like so scared, but then it's like low key funny. And that's when I recorded those Snapchats and I sent them to my coworkers. And I didn't tell Louis till like I got to Florida because I was scared he was gonna be like, like never mind, don't come. He had already been here in Florida. Just kidding, I knew he wouldn't say that, but I um I actually texted him and I was like, hey, like I like played it like super low key, like just like just wondering type of thing. And I was like, hey, would you be mad if I lost my engagement ring? And he was like, not at all. When did you lose it? And I was like, no, dude, I didn't lose it. It was just like a hypothetical question. And he was like, oh, no, I wouldn't be. And I actually believe him. He's a very patient person. But when I showed him those videos of like the incident, he was like, he gave me that look that parents give you when they're not mad, they're just disappointed, which is like the worst thing in my opinion. But anyway, yeah, that's the story of how I almost lost my engagement ring or how I thought it was lost. Anyway, let me know if you guys wanna see more story times. I have a couple in mind that I can do, including my engagement story. I realized when I was gonna film this, I was like, maybe I should have said my engagement story first. But anyway, I have that one, and the time I texted my boss by mistake, I'm just so scared to get in trouble for that one. But that one's pretty funny too. And let me know what you guys wanna see next. We'll see you guys next time.